Hi, how's it going? I'm Ina Golden and welcome to my blog. All right, okay, so I'm going to do something a little different today. <laughs> she says as though this isn't going to be me talking about my books again. <laughs> um, so back when I published um, Hyena Boy with Lulu, I did a book unboxing a video um, when I received the paperback copy of Hyena Boy prior to getting the paperback released. Um, as I said before, currently on, on KDP, <laughs> Currently on KDP, or through KDP, um, the colours I see in Hyena Boy are not available in paperback, but the other three books, Echo, Broken Before Use, and Welcome to Mary's Vale, all are. Now, exactly the same as with Lulu, uh, you do have to pay in order to get your author copies, and this has to do with the fact that it is pay on demand, uh, pay on demand, um, print on demand. Um, so any any time you're dealing with a print on demand publisher, if you want a copy of your own book, which you know most authors do at some point want a copy of their own book uh, for, for various reasons, then you do have to pay for the copy of the for your author's copy. You're not paying the full price, you're literally paying the price of printing, um, which is usually less than five usually less than five pounds, um, obviously depending on the size of the book. I don't think I've ever paid more than five pounds for any of my author copies um, because all the, the author, <laughs> all the books that I've turned into paperbacks have been short enough to sort of uh, be a little bit below that, which again is why I'm not at this point in time going to create a paperback for the colours I see because <laughs> Boy, is that going to be expensive um, uh, by the print-on-demand uh, print system, and not just for you know for my author copy, but also for for readers out there looking to uh, to read <laughs> to read a copy uh, paperback version of the clothes I see. I'm sorry, it's probably going to be a while before I will consider creating a paperback version of any of my books that are that length, which will be the um, remaining to books of the Neverating Collection. Uh, so the Neverating Collection itself, I think for now will just be Kindle exclusive, uh, Kindle and Kindle Unlimited exclusive. Um, however, all the other books that I'm planning to release will have paperback versions. Um, so there will probably be a few more of these unboxing vlogs and I've decided to do it as uh, in, in my blog format rather than necessarily in an unboxing format um, just because I didn't really know what I wanted to talk about in my blog this week um, I did sort of consider maybe doing this as like a live um, one just so that I can sort of have it on Facebook and on Instagram because I started using Instagram a little bit more um, but at the same time yeah, I know what I'm like when I'm recording these videos, I will forget things and I'll lose my train of thought quite a lot. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'll do it in my blog style format um, so that it is a little bit more freeform, it's a little bit more me reacting to things, but it's all, you know, I'm recording this live when I'm recording it, I know it will be going up in video format <laughs> after I've done a little bit of editing. Um, Sometimes I do a lot of editing, sometimes I don't do very much editing at all. It, it all depends on what kind of week that I've been having um, in terms of having able to get things across and, and stuff like that. The, the nightmare of, of having a memory like mine <laughs> and the occasional inability to get words out. Um, but yeah, I, I thought doing it in the vlog style format is probably what's going to suit me best. Um, it's not like any people watches my videos anyway. I mean, I know there are like a few people out there who do watch my videos, and I'm so grateful to you. But I, like most of my videos get one or two views, <laughs> so uh, I'm not really watched. Um, and like you, you know, I might as well just, especially because it's like three, three books, and not like three separate books, and not just one. <laughs> Lots of copies of one. Um, 
which is what you would normally get for an author uh, author copy unboxing. I I imagine this is uh, yeah okay. So before I get to the unboxing of because I've never I've never had author copies or I've never seen um, the the style in which uh, KDP print their books um, before because. Uh, most of what I read now tends to be digital through my Kindle, uh, just because it just makes it so much faster for me to kind of go, you know what, I'm in the mood for that, get it, read it, um, and it doesn't take up any space. <laughs> it, it, it's like, my, my Kindle is, is small, it doesn't take up any space. Um, so I don't actually know what these are going to look like. Um, with Lulu, I had some idea before I got the, the copy of Hyena Boy, kind of what things would look like um, because I'd gone through the process before, um, specifically with, with Echo. I, and, and again, Echo is one of the ones which is in this, in this big box here. So I was kind of like, I want to I wanna do a comparison between you know, how this looks and how, how this version of it looks. So you can see cover there, cover there, um, and like the text format and the size and everything like that. Um, so with Lulu creating the paperback version, I know they do have like information and stuff on their site, for, like how you how you can format it. But they also have like an auto formatting, which is why you end up with text that isn't necessarily the best sort of sizing. For oh, this is the version with the blank pages. <laughs> <laughs> this is why the other version has the bookmark in it and it looks better better used but yeah no um so yeah this is one of my my tester ones this is the version and i think i've mentioned it to people on here before that there is a version that just had some random blank pages because for some reason they'd added themselves and i hadn't noticed um until i actually got the paperback and i flicked through and and then it became very obvious there were blank pages <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing that I picked up this version. I thought this version was the the version with the the um, black version of the side and back cover rather than the, the blue side cover. I didn't realise it was this version. <laughs> um, but yeah, so although it did sort of like have like how you can format it, it, it I don't think I ever looked at the guide and I allowed, allowed them to sort of like automatically do it themselves, which is why um, the, the print is not necessarily the best um, and, and, and the formatting of it is not necessarily like, it's not, it's not terrible to be, to be fair. It's better than I remember it being. <laughs> I haven't looked at these for a while. <laughs> um, but the thing that KDP does, um, is it actually gives you templates that you can copy and paste your book into and then like tidy it up in the correct formatting and I do the sizing and everything and you can sort of see how it's going to look. Um, on top of that, when you're going through the, the process of publishing, you can actually view it and actually click digitally through all the pages yourself and you can then spot anything that is maybe not necessarily the way around that you, you want it to be. And that's why I've not worried too much about getting my author copies before now, because I feel like I've seen, I've seen inside these books, I, I know what they're going to look like. And that's one thing that Lulu never sort of allowed you to do. I and mean, that's one of the reasons why they made you order a copy of the book to make sure that everything was fine. Um, I to KDP don't do that. It's completely optional. Um, so, yeah, as I said, this is like the sizing for the, for the Lulu ones um, and, and, you know, the way the book has sort of been formatted, where it's basically A4 pages that have been shrunk down. <laughs> basically what this is formatted like, um, which isn't necessarily the best. Um, so I guess it's now time to actually get to the unboxing. Um, I'm not showing the front too much because uh, don't, you know, my address is on there, <laughs> along with my real name. <laughs> okay. Close 
Okay. All right, so I pulled Echo out first. So, sizing wise, it's it's a taller book. I wasn't expecting that. Thought thought it might be a, a shorter, fatter book, but no, it's a it's a slightly taller book. It's definitely a fatter book. So, again, so oh no, choices can change everything. Was on that one as well. But yeah, you can see you can see the. Well, the cover image is definitely darker um, with the black background, which is actually yeah, it's, it's quite nice. Feels really nice as well. So, yeah, it does feel really nice. Um, and as you can see, in terms of font sizing. Um, So this is the prologue in the this version. Um, so I don't know how well you can see that. I, I can't tell from the angle, but I'm trying to look at this. But yeah, that's definitely. It's definitely a nicer text size. It's definitely a much clearer text size. And it's got proper page things at the bottom. And like the, the chaptering, uh, chapter naming at the top. It definitely looks a lot nicer. Definitely looks a lot nicer. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. So, yeah, this this feels like it would be a much easier book for people to look at in terms of the uh, font size for reading. Um, And pages are less white, <laughs> so there's much more of a contrast. I mean, yeah, yeah, that. Like when I'm sort of like looking down at it, and I will probably take some pictures of this um, for my for my Instagram um, for comparison later. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely a better feel. It's definitely a better look. It looks and feels a lot more like a book. Um, and obviously this has less chapters, <laughs> which sounds bizarre, um, because my old chapter style was, um, like two and a half pages, but with the whole, uh, narrating thing, I've kind of extended my chapter lengths a little bit and then reduced the number of chapters. So I don't actually remember how many chapters this ended up with. I think it's, it might be set. It's, Okay, 19. So yeah, this has got 19. This has got 19 chapters. Um, and I think this has got like 20, oh, 40 something. <laughs> no, 50 something, 52, 54. 56, 57, 58. Yeah, you, you can see. So that's like what? I think I said it was 19, and this is 58 chapters. So, although the, you can see it's definitely the same. <laughs> you can definitely see it's the same length story. This looks like a bigger story, but <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that was one of the other things I did. I did reduce the, the chapter number uh, by moving chapters into other chapters um, and stuff like that so yeah sorry I'm, I'm I, I know I should get on to, a, to unboxing the other two but I'm quite I'm quite impressed with how this actually looks and you know 
So side side by side comparison, you can sort of like see the difference in in font sizes, um, difference in in how the the side cover looks, and like then the difference in. Oh, and again, this is this is something I'll probably do a probably do um, some Instagram pictures for <laughs> for anybody who wants to follow me on Instagram. Um, so now moving on to the other two books. So first off we have The Dollmaker's Son, which again, okay, so one of the things I want to check with this is, uh, and, and again, it's one of those things where I, I did sort of check it as I was sort of like flipping through. So Jade should does indeed. And then move back. I'm not like gonna give you guys too much detail about what it is I'm checking here because uh, <laughs> might be a little bit spoilery. Yeah, it does. And then. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want it. So yeah, the, the thing I'm checking with this is, so this is the last page of the book, and then this is the first bit of back stuff. So this is the um, advertising for um, Welcome to Mary's Tale. Um, and you, you don't really want that sort of like on the back page of the book there. So I just, I always make sure that I have that sort of page in between. But yeah. So again, it's really nice font size. Um, I, I just opened that up to a completely uh, random page there. No idea where the story it is. <laughs> it's like a really nice font size. I mean, I think I think if I were to do the never rating books, I could probably go down a font size, um, just so that they're not quite such door stops. But yeah, no, that's and again, that's like that cover inside the side of the the one, so you know which which number book it is. And I like, I've already sort of like scope the sides. <laughs> it's totally me. Um, and then the front cover image, which uh, it does, it does look really good. But see, I, I know it's my hand, so <laughs> I can't stop seeing that. Um, and then last, but certainly not least. So yeah, that, that's how you would want that. Do you have a couple of extra pages at the back? That's okay. So, um, yeah, so now we've got the, the Welcome to Mary's Vale. Uh, so, again, side cover, back cover. And again, it's, I went for um, 13 point when it came to the, the font itself, font size itself. So I can probably go with with twelve point, and it not actually look that bad. Um, I, I don't know. I know it's something. It's like actually seeing, actually like seeing like how this looks. Um, did I end up with the same? Yeah, I, I do go with the same style <laughs> with this. I, I noticed the uh, so Echo has got like um, so Echo has got like this sort of chapter style uh, for, for the headings, whereas both of these have got again. I need to find the start of chapter two. These have both got like this sort of chapter style, but they've both got it 
so it's consistent. I did remember to do that. I always get really worried about these things that I've forgotten to sort of do something. Um, I usually haven't. But yeah, no, these are all um, these are all thirteen point within the, the formatting. So I might be able to get away with a rather well, slightly smaller font size if I again. It's one of those things where it's like actually I could maybe seeing this consider options. Um, I mean, I don't want to make, necessarily make the font size too much smaller than this. Um, but I have options. I have options. I didn't. I didn't think I had those options. So, yeah, that's that's an interesting thought to consider. It's an interesting thought to consider. I might. I might potentially be able to make it so they're not too expensive. Hmm. That's a thought. But <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and this this is why I want to do this is more of like a vlog format style because I, I know I knew I'd get like sidetracked over all this. So yeah once again this is this is Echoes. Um and then like the echo comparison. Um like the, the complete echo comparison I'm holding the book wrong way. <laughs> it's like the complete echo comparison. Um and they they, they will almost definitely get a proper comparison comparison um, on on Instagram later. Um, then you've got the the Dollmaker's Son, um, which I I do I like the way that the, these books feel. My cover guy does such a good job. He really does. He really, and I I will be taking pictures for him as well. And then finally, Welcome to Marysville, which is the last. Of them and uh, he, oh, he just he does such a good job. He really does such a good job. I mean, just I mean this this bit in particular. Um, our solution to it was for me to take a picture of a street sign, for him to then remove all the lettering from that street sign and all the details from that street sign and then to utilise the background <laughs> and like like the, the lettering and then this little symbol down there it's, it, that's all what he's added to it um, so that, that, you know, that was the best solution you could come up for for working out how to, to make this image the way or at least as close to the sort of image that I've had in mind for it. Um, it's not necessarily 100% what I initially envisaged, but as a realisation of the idea that I had in my head, it's it's really good. And, and, and again, <laughs> cut to my arm. <laughs> this um, is, is specifically, obviously, mine, minus the bike I did when I take it off for it. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's, it looks... They, they do, they look really good, and I know I'm sort of dwelling quite a bit on these ones, but I've not, I've not seen these ones, so. Oh, and it just makes me realise maybe the paperback for my book stops might, might be possible. My draw stops might be possible. Mmm, that's an interesting thought. Yeah, that, that might take some working out, but that is an interesting thought. Anyway, so I'm 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 posing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm posing with these right now for the sub thumbnail. So either future me will uh, edit this out, or future me will leave this in, depending on what is funny or works better but yeah so these these are my author copies that's that's quite exciting um yeah it's 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 really weird to sort of like like have them in your hands um they they don't look exactly the way I thought they would look um as I said I thought they would be shorter fatter but you know what 
this works too. Um, yeah, it's, it's given me some thoughts. <laughs> All right, okay, I will leave that there. Um, I hope you guys have found this unboxing vlog, I guess I'm going to call it, uh, sort of interesting. Um, I hope you guys are interested to find out whatever it is I'm going to be talking about next time. I know I don't have a link to my Instagram um, on, on here currently. Um, I believe if you want to follow me on Instagram to see what pictures I put up now that I have my author copies, um, my Instagram is, I believe, at the ILA Golden. I believe it's at the ILA Golden. That sounds right, as in T H E I L A G O L D E N. Um, if not, follow me on Twitter. I'm sure I'll be doing uh, a similar kind of photo shoot on Twitter. If not, sharing this photo shoot to Twitter <laughs> from my Instagram, which doesn't necessarily work the way you want it to, but um, but my Twitter is at I L A Golden. <laughs> <laughs> um, so either way, if you're interested in, in sort of sort of seeing what what photos I did put up about it, as well as that there, but certainly my Twitter is probably the best place of keeping up to date with all my news. Um, definitely, definitely follow me there. Um, but yeah, and I, I hope you guys are interested to see what I talk about next time. I hope you guys have found this quite interesting. I know I've probably said both of those things already, but. You know me and my ending in my vlogs. Um, yeah. And um, with that said, I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.